uh, it's quite a long time since I posted a video. And the reason for that is I have been uh, very busy at uh, work. Uh, I also have my family, of course. Well, but now hopefully I will uh, be able to post uh, some more videos. Today I want to show you how to make uh, a bird trap. It's uh, it's illegal in Norway, but uh, if you have to, you have to. So, but for uh, you other guys from US and uh, all over, uh, this is something you can try. Okay, to find the right right tree. And by the way, I have bought a new camera. It's a it's a GoPro Hero 2. Uh, I need to modify this uh, sound system some uh, some way because uh, you have to use this housing to use the mounts, and when you're using the housing, you are <laughs> the sound are fucked up. So, well. Um, I hope you can hear me now. I've taken off the back door from the housing and I just to tape the ca camera in place. So. Well, as I said, bird traps. Well, if you see this uh, tree up ahead with these uh, special leaves, this is uh, what we call in Norway rong. Uh, I think it's uh, round in uh, English. And I know that in States, you call this uh, mountain ash or European mountain ash. Uh, it's not related to ash at all, but uh, you know, got this name. So, and these uh, trees have these red berries in the autumn, and you have to find someone because that's the bait. Really high up, uh, you see someone there. And also up there. Well. I got my berries, look like this, and now I'm gonna pre-cut some uh, some sticks we're gonna use for this for this bird trap. So stay with me. Okay, I have, I have my berries. I have this twig and this one, almost the same length. What I want to do is to attach this like that and back again like that. The way I do, it, way I do this, I, I split this in the middle with a knife. So I make and I wide it open with a knife and put this twig in. Before I do that, I need to flatten it out a bit. Okay, now it's done. I have this uh, small loop, it's about... Mm -hmm. uh, 25 centimeters or something. It's it's not so important, but uh, not, do not make it too, too big. Okay, and it's uh, made 90 degrees of this one. Okay, so now it's... Uh, the trap itself is finished, but you have to make make yourself this uh, this snare so uh, I'm gonna use uh, steel wire from my from my kit but uh, uh, it's uh, it's actually um, a colleague from uh, work who told me about this I never I never tried it so uh, um, I, I built one before just to try it uh, but as I said earlier, it's uh, not legal in Norway, so so I can't do it. <laughs> so, but um, when he grew up in uh, late late 60s, I believe, uh, maybe early 70s, he, when they were kids, they made a bunch of these traps and and they catch a bunch of birds. This is mainly some bird we. In Norway called trost. I really don't know what it's called in uh, English, but all kind of birds that are interested in uh, 
in some berries will uh, be attracted to this. And you don't need to use uh, use round or uh, mountain ash. You can use uh, use berries from uh, other trees, uh, but it has to be berries that uh, that the birds like, of course. And they back in that time they uh, they uh, they gathered a lot of these berries and put them in a the freezer. And late um, late autumn, early winter, they they set up a bunch of these traps and it got a lot of birds because then there were, was no more berries on the trees and the birds was crazy after these berries. And I using I using a steel wire. Um, you can use uh, fishing line also. But um, or originally they use uh, horse tackle, twist it together uh, to make a, a, a thin thread. So, um, and a loop about maybe a five centimeters, not not so much more. And this loop has to be. In that way, it will it will uh, hang the bird. Okay. So it's it's important you make it like this. Just attach it so it will not come loose, and you place it over. Like this, it's much easier with uh, with steel wire than a horse uh, tackle. If you need, if you're using horse tackle, they this also split it this um, this piece of wood and threaded the horse tackle through and made a big knot. And to make this uh, loop uh, come in the right place, they just twisted the horse tackle until the loop turned right. Okay, now to the bait. You don't need much berries, but you can. Uh, yeah. Take this one, and you just leave the berries here, down here. Then the bird will come. It will sit uh, almost in to on top of the berries, and when they start to try to eat them, he will put his head through. And when they put his head through this loop, he will feel uh, some restraint and try to get away. And then it's hang. So that's how it works. To uh, attach these berries, you can if you want, you can uh, split this wood. There's so much ten tension in this wood now, so so even if you split it and thread this through, it will uh, close up and hold it hold it very well. So so don't worry about that. So this is the finished trap. You have the bait, you have the loop, the, the snare, and you have this uh, rigging. And now I'm gonna show you how to how to set it. Okay. Now we're back on the GoPro, so let's go find find some place to to set up the trap. Uh, this trap should not be set up, uh, especially if you set it up before before um, the berries have fallen off the trees. Then you have to set it up somewhere where you can't find this mountain ash or or round, uh, in areas where these trees are not present. Because if there are many trees with berries, <laughs> your chances will be really small with just this amount of, of bait. 
so um, and also it's it's not uh, it's not a good solution to to do it in this uh, dense forest I'm in now these birds will fly over open fields to to walk, to look for food and and uh, that's the way to place it so let's see so I have to go out onto this field and find myself a tree okay I have to show you something you see this tree up there it's a lot of berries and now it's um, late September and it's plenty of berries so so this trap will not work very well in these areas so you have to find another area to set up your trap these berries are not good for eating yourself they are very sour and taste like shit actually well I guess I'll try this birch um, reason is uh, long is that I should be able to hang it very high oh, uh, some branches away leaves and stuff ok I'll well, hang it up here ok now the bird trap is set and it's out of reach of other animals so it's uh, okay for the bird to sit down and find some snacks and when you catch a bird you just take down your trap and take out the bird and replace the bait if necessary or you can take down the trap and put it somewhere else if you if you're not lucky so just hang it up on tree like this but I of course I have to take it down <laughs> if not I can't post this video if you understand what I mean <laughs> so this simple and it's a very proven method, it's used uh, for a very long time and, and it's something that's going to be forgotten I guess because uh, people don't do this anymore and uh, because it's illegal of course so but uh, for uh, survival or for some emergency hunting, trapping it's absolutely possible and uh, for um, areas full of this uh, roam it's uh, it's most likely no luck if it's too early so so you should uh, carry this to some place where you can't find these berries and it, it must be visible for the birds to, to see this so if not you won't be lucky so it's uh, not time consuming making this, you can make 5, 6, 4, 5, 6 in an hour, so it will help you, it will help you a lot. So um, try it and if some of you, some of you US guys try this, I would be really happy if you reply and, and tell me about it, if you get some books, that would be uh, really nice maybe a video response or something so thank you for now and I'll be back in a few weeks I think okay. bye now